Alright. I'm gonna be slaving away in front of a hot fire all day. We gotta hydrate. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I got distracted. I got distracted trying to figure out what all the different settings did. That one made sense. What did the, what did the circle, what is the circle one? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we just failed the first blacksmith test. <laughs> what is that though? Like, what is this? I'll just leave it alone, but... I don't understand. Alright, new game. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we get to choose our difficulty. Are we gonna be John, Darian, Lockard, Stansley, Barrick, Claire? I think it would be Claire. Emil? Emily? Emil? Emi Emily? Emily? Caitlin? That's my sister's name. Oh my god. Snorkins Jr. Gamork? Okay, let's look at the girls. You grew up in a po oh, they all have backstories. <laughs> you want to do Snorkins Jr.? You are a goblin, yes, and you take pride in it. Let ignorant humans mock you. Let them be a fool sees, a fool laughs. That's their job to be fools. They won't bother understanding what's what. That this goblin authored several monographs of mineralogy that. The goblin was the apprentice of the current rector of the Academy of Mages. That the goblin crafted magical staffs for the greatest mage of our time. That the goblin holds a master's degree. Man, more better than me. I have a bachelor's degree. In thermal magical metalworking. No, they couldn't care less. Let them live in their delusions. You're tired of wasting time on fools. Ooh, I actually like it. <laughs> Should we be snorkins? Should I read the other ones? Yeah, one educated snorkins. Um, mm, I don't think I want to read all these. I'm going to be snorkins. Snorkins or nothing. Let's do snorkins. Wait, what is difficulty apprentice? Are they all apprentice? Oh, you have to choose. Uh, what should I be? Apprentice, craftsman, master, or, or that, that. <laughs> Apprentice, craftsman, or master? Master? Okay. Apprentice will be the easiest. I want this to be a little challenging, because then I think it's more fun if it's challenging, right? And if we fail, we can always just go back, right? <laughs> Hi, DSS! <clears throat> Alright. Good luck. Well, should I do craftsman? But he says he has a master's degree. <laughs> no ballin'. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> All right, well, here I am back home. So many years have passed, yet these places have hardly changed. My father's house and the forge are still in their places. See, I told you we'd come back from that cursed journey in One Piece. All I heard from you was talk about lurking dangers, dragons and goblins, as if. But I'm a goblin. Fladwick. Oh yeah, sure. And remember what happened to Oliver? He even came up with the nickname Lucky, I think. Yeah, right. We spent a whole day collecting what was left of him. Oh, poor Lucky. Oh, Briller, thank you so much for subcutting to Maddie. That's sweet of you. Thanks, Briller. Sorkins accepts nothing less. <laughs> Can you work on your goblin voice? I'm not averse. How does a goblin sound? <laughs> I don't know how to do a goblin sound. Uh, also, I really like this font. Let, let's not dwell on that. What a wonderful day. Anyway, I hope your intention to come back, settle down, and get into the blacksmithing business was serious. It is serious, bro. I'm serious today. 
settle down and get some life. I was serious. I'm all for it, of course. We've never managed to figure out anything about those strange dreams of yours, but maybe it's for the best. He has dreams like me. All right, I'll head to the nearest village. Blacksmithing is not only noble, but also quite demanding. Resting properly is crucial. I'll get some decent beer for us. See you, beer. Picture your voice when you wake up before your alarm, and then you also wake up after, again, after your alarm. But my voice is basically like, I can't even make that voice. So it's time to step into the forge. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I have the materials and I can't. I can't. <laughs> Bail out. <laughs> I have the materials and tools, all the works. I do sound like that though when I wake up. I sound like an old woman. Lay out the materials and tools on the workstations and take a look at the map. Oh wait, he's telling me what to do. Lay out the materials and tools. Take a look at the map. There was a trade stall and a forest cabin nearby. Maybe there's some work for a blacksmith. Yes. Basic tips. Move left and right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, this is your forge. Click on the ability to get inside. Left click, uh, left mouse click on the item will open a menu with information about it. Drag these tools to your forge with the left mouse button. Okay. Oh. Tab, mm, tab materials. What am I holding the hammer? Tab materials. These are iron, steel, wood, and other materials that can be worked on. Drag them to your forge too. Components. In this tab, you can upgrade your forge. Clean on the forge again will close this menu. Oh, so you can upgrade. Oh, okay. Upgrade. Is this a mobile game? <sighs> I'm dead. Commit. No. <laughs> Basic tips, my favorite kind. <laughs> Ooh, look at, we got five gold. This is your home with all of your belongings. Click on it to get inside. Okay, this tab will, uh, uh, this tab with available items and, and guests, you can invite to your place. Okay, it's a bit empty now, but the dwarf Fladwick promised me back soon with a keg of beer. That's something, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. And in this tab, you'll be able to upgrade your home. This is very important because comfort and surroundings have a strong influence on your work. Oh. Notice, as in the case of the forge, you do not have enough money for this upgrade yet. Oh, that's why it says, no, you're broke. Click on the house again to close the menu. Okay. In it's your experience and your gold, not everyone will welcome an unskilled blacksmith and the seller at the market will turn his back on you if he finds out that you're broke. What? So I gotta have money. <laughs> what is this? This button opens the game menu. Click here. Okay. What is this? With this button, you can adjust difficulty of the game. Oh, you can change the difficulty. So you can change it at any time. <laughs> I learned that one. Check. Uh, help menu contains information on general questions. Oh, here we go. If you play with a touch screen. Okay, so this is for mobile. Or I guess was, but they added it to the PC. Here you can adjust the touch diameter. Oh, okay, that's what that was. Here you can set music and sound effects. Okay. Close the menu by clicking this button. Okay. This button will take you to a map of the surrounding lands. Okay. Uh, gallery of your work. Each time you complete an order, you can put a copy of that work in your gallery to show to your friends and new customers. Okay. Calling Snorkins unskilled. How dare they? They'll learn their lesson. All right, let's look at the map. Fat finger size adjustments. <laughs> uh, let's see. You can also get to your house and forge by clicking on your character's portrait. Okay. This is your forge and house. Oh, 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 nice. Okay. 
Um, you'll be able to return here a little later. Just click on this place with the left mouse button. You can move around the map by pressing and holding the left mouse button. Try, for example, in this place. Yes. <clears throat> so it's time to look around and take your first blacksmithing order. Places to visit are marked with a golden triangular pointer. It looks like there is a forester's house to the west of your location. Click it. Okay. At the forest cabin, you see a large, stern man with an axe. He looks at you suspiciously. Greetings, I'm new here. Do you need the services of a blacksmith? A blacksmith, huh? Good. Nice to meet you. I'm Rob, the local forest warden. I arrived here recently from the west. Things have been quite fierce there lately. Darkness has been spreading aggressively. There's no life left. Come in, let's chat. There's work to be done. Making a ladder to the attic and installing a new door in my house. I'll pay you. A ladder and a new door? Whoa. Ah! This is general information about the place you visited. Some places you will uh, only be able to access after gaining a certain amount of experience. This will be indicated here. Okay. This contains the available blacksmithing orders, items you can purchase, and characters willing to join you. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's pick this order. Click on it. Okay. Name and description, order conditions, accuracy must be 75% or higher. Oh, God. The more your product matches the scheme, uh, the higher the accuracy is. Payment. Okay, so he'll pay me 10 gold to make a wooden ladder. After all, you're a black... Wait, wait, hold on. The forester needs a wooden ladder. Of course, it's not exactly your area of expertise. I was thinking that. I was like, a ladder? After all, you're, blacks, you're a blacksmith, not a carpenter, but since he lives nearby and you need money to expand your business, why not take this order? Okay. All right. I guess we're making a ladder. Freaking ladder. So this is, oh, so, we, oh, I'm in the forge. Also, what do y'all think about the music? I kind of like it. Oops. Hold on, I was gonna, oh, oops. I was gonna move my ca camera somewhere. Where should I move it? Here, I'll leave it for now. So you're in your forge. Let's start making your first order. This is the scheme of your order. Put your crafted item here to check if it fits the conditions. Okay. Use the left mouse button to move the canvas with the scheme. Oh, this is useful for checking the dimensions. Oh, I can move it. Okay. Hold, hold, please. Why, why does it keep doing that? And here are the current parameters of your crafted item. Here you will find the conditions of the order. So we have to at least get 75% and this tells me what it actually is. Okay, got it. Obviously, you need two long wooden poles and five short sticks. Obviously. Duh. Eh. Eh. Okay. Uh, to open the box with materials, click here with the left mouse button or press the D key. This box can be closed later by clicking here again or by pressing the A key. You do not need to do this now. Scroll. Scroll through the list of materials by holding down left mouse button on. Man, they really tell you how to play this game. I appreciate that. Empty space around the bottom. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually kind of necessary. All right, materials are stored in packs. If there are two or more packs, the number of packs is indicated here. And this is the amount of material in one pack. Oh, okay. So in one pack, there's two. And we have three packs. Okay, so we have six. Okay. Take, please take the wooden stick first, find them, drag them down with the left mouse button as far as they will go, and then replace and release. Okay. Wait, take the wooden first, find them, drag them down. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's what it is. <clears throat> a Snorkins hasn't been asked to make a ladder for generations. I know. What is this madness? Hi, Red Guppy. Let click on the item to select it. If you have multiple items in your workspace, this action will also place the item on top of the others. Okay. Um, oh, Briller, thank you so much for subscribing to Red Guppy. Hi, Red Guppy. Welcome to the Fairy Family. For some reason, I saw your joke today as why do blacksmiths think hamsters are pretty? Oh, 
Oh, hams. Oh, hammers. My mind went somewhere else. <laughs> no, it's hammers. Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't read that. This is where the waste bin is. Bring anything you want to get rid here. Okay. Now we need a wood saw. Let's get it. All right. Uh, W, switching between hand tools and stationary tools, hammer, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, E. Oh. The, to return the tool to its original position, click and hold the left mouse button. E. Okay. Hand tools are now selected. Click here with the left mouse button or the W key. Okay. I guess. All right. Move the saw with the left mouse button. Right mouse button parallel move the saw. Okay, to start sawing, press left mouse button on this handle and move the mouse from side to side. Whoa, what? Working with a saw, here you may select, keep, or throw away resulting work pieces. Okay, that's it. Saw the sticks. And then when you're ready to attach them together, grab another tool. Okay. Okay, oh, I need the. I see, I see. We need these for the, okay, so I was like, that's not even long enough. All right, so like this. So we need two of these. <laughs> I'm kind of happy they started us off with a ladder. Oh, and Ruler, thanks for so gifting to see him. You're so sweet. Thank you so much, Ruler. That was very kind of you to do all these subs today. Thank you. It's my day off. I get to watch Kylie. Ah, yay. Happy day off, Red. That's awesome. I know there's so many tool tips. Okay, so I need... Um, I'm assuming it has to be like as long as this, right? Oh my god, it's like so picky. <laughs> so like, I have to saw it like here. Here, I think I'll move that out of the way because I don't want to actually saw it. Wait, how do I get a saw again? Oh, there we, oh. Oh god. Okay, here's my saw. All right, I'll just put these over here for now since we don't need them, need them right now. It's okay, I'm gonna get, I'm getting the hang of this, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Okay. I need I need space, so we'll put it down here. <laughs> um. I need to make sure it's. It's, it's leveled. All right. Okay. Oh. Wow, this is kind of cool though. Oh, but it's kind of picky. Okay, and then, does that look good? So I just cut it, right? And then, oh God. Oh, okay, I did it. Ah, okay. Is this, does this piece fit here too? Okay, that's good. All right, we can save all materials. That's good cut, that's a good cut. All right, so we just need to make a couple more. So we, as long as they're this size, then we're good. Okay, hold on, let me get another stick out. All right. Now, question is, does it cut these pieces too if I put them next to each other? Aw, what the heck, Ruler? Thank you so much for some gifting to General. That's sweet. Welcome, General. Welcome to the Fairy Family. Welcome back to the Fairy Family. All right, I'm thinking like this. So then we don't have to... Oh. Wait, what? Why did it make that sound? <laughs> this is kind of cool. All right, 
right, one, two, okay, one more. One more. This music is so dramatic. <laughs> Why is the music is so dramatic? Wait, nothing to worry about. Perfect. Wait, what's nothing to worry about? What? What do I have to worry about? Okay, hold on. I need to move this down here so I don't accidentally cut it. Okay. <laughs> oh, General, no, it doesn't do anything. Someone absolutely made these sounds with their mouth. You think so? No way. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> I know it is more detailed. All right, how do I like, maybe I just put that over there. All right, now we need to actually build it. So. All right, I don't know how to actually do this, but I'm sure it'll teach me. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I need nails. Oh, oh! This is a riveting hammer. Use it to attach materials together. By grabbing the left mouse button here, you can move the rivet hammer. When the rivet can be seated, left click into the part of the handle. Okay. As you hold the hammer, those materials that can be joined at this point will be highlighted and the rivet itself will bounce slightly. All right, let me finish putting the pieces on the pattern real quick. We are a master of our craft, okay chat? We gotta be, this is, oh God. This is gotta be perfect. Perfect wooden ladder. Okay, so what do I do? Does it only have to be one? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like that? three times. Cool! What the heck? Cool. Oh, this one's not long enough. It's okay. We'll make do. Alright, we'll make do. Or maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. Here. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll look to see if there's any longer ones. We'll, we'll stick with the longest ones for now. This is a matter of safety, okay? It's gotta be safe. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> Time to put master ladder <laughs> maker on the resume. <laughs> it's fine, okay. Oh, so it automatically does three. Okay, that one's a little short. Let's try this one. Oh, what are y'all, so far, what are y'all are y'all's impressions of the game? I'm not sponsored in any way. I bought this. Hi, Specky. 
feel like I play a lot of, uh, well, at least lately I haven't been playing a lot of indie games. But, this one's cute. I like it so far. <laughs> it sucks! <laughs> it's not, uh, this isn't what I expected at all. Wait, really? What did you, what did you expect? Just curious. What did you expect? I think there's like other stuff that you do in the game, but I mean, it's blacksmith. This is why I wanted to play. <laughs> Strong dig a hole vibes. Is it because there was a, um, a dwarf? <laughs> Just kidding, I never get to say that. I feel like that's so true. We never really get to hate on things. Because <laughs> there just hasn't been. Hold on. Click here to complete your order. Attention, there should only be one item on the canvas. Wait, what? Hold on, I'm not done. I really hope that is safe. Use your hamster. <laughs> That's one intricate ladder. It really is, isn't it? All right, what does that say? Oh. <gasps> 83! That's it? Hold on. Oh! Oh! 100%! Click here to complete your order. Okay, 100%. Look at that. <laughs> Best ladder ever perfection 10 gold <laughs> yeah Woo! all right congrats you've completed your first order let's take a look at the next one all right so we need to make a door this time this order is more complicated requires careful preparation for that click here okay we'll, we'll do that in a second a door hewn from uh, sturdy boards is hung on iron hinges at the entrance of the dwelling on the inside. It secures with a latch. All right, we need 84. What does that mean? What is 64? And that's my reward. Okay, what is this? This menu specifies everything you need to fulfill. All right. Seven, I guess I need... Oh, y'all can't see it. Hold on. Um, I need seven divots, I guess. And then this... Uh, let's go to the materials tab. Oh, I see. We need to get some planks. You need two sticks, which I have. Check mark. A bright tick icon means that this material is ready for work. If you forget to put material into the forge, the tick icon, icon will be dark. You need three wooden boards. You have zero. Uh, there's no tick icon. That means that you don't have the material. Right. The material tab does not have a tick at the bottom as not everything is prepared. Right. And the tools tab have a tick icon. Okay, so we're going to need to eventually probably buy more tools later. Click on the item to see more information about it. Okay. To close the menu, click on it. A thick board, blah, 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 blah. Door, shield, or crossbow. Okay. All right, let's close the order and take a look around the map. There's a market stall here. Let's go there. Okay. It's a trading stall. Here there are boards. Okay. So we needed we needed to buy some. It costs five. We hit fifteen. But I need three, don't I? Let's buy them. The price is marked next to the button. Okay. Does that mean that I have enough? Close the market and click stall menu. Okay, click let's visit the near tavern. Oh <gasps> nearby tavern! The tavern Old Crow has stood by this road for ages. Its owner ha was friends with your father. They often helped each other out in everyday matters. Oh my god. Oh, no, wait. How many years has it been? Welcome back and welcome to my tavern. Greetings, uncle. I don't believe that is actually our uncle. He <laughs> need a drink after that ladder. <laughs> Greetings, Uncle. I'm glad to see you and that you're in good health and your business is thriving. Yes, Old Crow is still calling. 
Cough, cough. Listen, your father lent me a sharpening wheel before he passed away. Take it. It's yours now. And there's something else. As a token of gratitude, take this beer. I'd love to crack over these barrels with you and your father today, but alas, it's a shame he's gone. Well, take all this quickly or I'll get us all sentimental. All right, off you go. And by the way, I've got some work for you, so drop by. Thank you. The day is off to a quite successful start. The sharpening wheel is an indispensable tool in a forge, and the beer should be brought into the house as soon as possible. Okay, take it. Artisan wheel. Cool. So we got a grinding wheel now. And then we got light beer. A way to relax after a hard day's work. Payment for orders increases by 17 gold just by having beer in my house? Now you can go back to your home with a forge and lay out your new items, but there's another easy way to get ready to the order. Did I read that right? You're going to follow it now. Let's back, go back here. Let's take a look at the order. Click the preparation menu. Click on the button with the forge icon. Hovering icon means you will first prepare things before work. Click here. Okay. So you have picked the order and enter the preparation mode. Let's go to the forge. Uh, open the tab with materials. Note that the items needed for this order are flashing. This will help you not forget anything while preparing. That's nice. Payment for your order is, uh, is indicated here. You will get 15 gold for crafting the door. But let's first add beer to our house. Oh, look, I had to click on it. An item works in conjunction with other items that will be highlighted within this menu is open. To close menu, click on it. All right, we gotta drag and drop it. Ooh, I like that sound effect. <laughs> My payment has increased. Now I'll get 32. All right, we're gonna need to buy a lot of beer, guys. So hold on. I'm adopted. Am I adopted by that dwarf that we saw? Was that my dad? <laughs> Everything is ready. You can get to work. Click here. All right, we gotta make that door now. So you need to make a door. You already know everything you need. But first, let's check the stuff. Hotkey D. Uh, get the stick. Okay. Click on it with left mouse button. Okay. The parameters of the selected item are displayed here. Wooden stick. Oh. It has one weight to defense. Oh, let's see. It's a type. It's a type of object. So. That one means tools, hammers, anvil saws, materials, metal with a components. These are finished items like skulls, feathers, and ropes. Okay, and then composite materials, a product made of several materials and components. Okay. Composition, uh, metal, wood, leather, bone. Mm -hmm. The weight, amount, and basic stats of the item. So weight, Amount, volume of something, for example, the number of rivets, okay. Attack, ability to deal damage. Defense, the combination of durability and protective properties. Morale, the tendency of an item to be either light or darkness. And magic, magical properties, okay. Now get to work, okay. All right, we're making a door. Wait, so it has to be... Uh, it has to be 85% and then 64 defense. Okay. So I guess I need this wooden stick for this part. Um, you would think that it would be... Do I have to, like, match this perfectly? Or... Because no, normally this would be better if it was, like, longer. You know? But I feel like it has to be perfect. Anyways, uh, two sticks. And I guess a stick for the handle. And then we also need the boards. Where's the boards? Oh, here we go. Ah, okay. Well, that's easy. How much is this? Oh, wow, this one is 20 defense. Okay. 
All right, um, I guess what I can do is chop the sticks into place. I'm just gonna match this game perfectly, yeah. Just match for accuracy. Mm -hmm. All right, um... How do I get my saw again? Slightly confusing, but uh, I don't know what I did, but okay. Oh. Ah. Here, let me move it down here. No, no, I need this one. What am I talking about? It moved my freaking stick! but it's okay. Okay, let me just move this slightly down so I can see the line. I think I need to cut it like that. Perfect. Oh. What, what sorcery is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> he cut it! I'm a... <laughs> I should be a mage. All right, um... <laughs> what? What the heck? I phased right through. I did! Hold on, I think I want to like cut it like that. There we go. I guess I have to do it slowly. Okay, there we go. Hey look! Maybe this is a good enough size for the handle? No, it needs to be a little bit shorter. <laughs> okay, let me make it a little bit shorter. What do I do with all the materials? Like, that I don't end up using. Oh, oh! Oh, it just fell off. Okay. Alright, next one... trash. It like literally went into the trash for me, so that was nice. Alright, let's uh, move this one over here. Let's rotate that. Okay. Push that off to the side. Uh, don't know what to do with that, so I'll just leave it alone. Alright, so now that I have my sticks and sticks, Stuff. Let's add the planks on here. Are all the planks the same? I'm assuming that's the case, but... Yeah, they all look the same. Does it match? Do I have to, like, match based off, like, where the circles are? No, 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 no. That's too much. That's too much. You like the cutting sound effect? Me too. We're making a door, chat. Okay, that looks good. If y'all think of a way I can make it better, let me know. But I think this is perfect. They kind of need to like overlap a little bit. All right. Wait a second. Oh shoot. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh <laughs> Let me, like, put it on, like, there we go, okay. Is that good? I think it's a little, oh no, that's perfect. Oh shoot. I think I messed it up. <laughs> 
How do I like? No! Give no! <laughs> there we go. There we go. <sighs> okay. All right. Not gonna touch it. Not gonna touch it. But now, where does this one go? Oh no. <laughs> Do one plank at a time. Okay, maybe fair point, fair point, fair point. All right, one plank at a time. Otherwise, I can't see anything. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right, where are all the divots? Okay, so that one is all the way. I don't know if it matters, but I'm a master blacksmith. I'm making exactly what they want. Okay. Where's the divot on this one? In the middle? Okay. It can't be that specific, can it? No way. Oh my god, what's the music? It sounds like we're gonna get raided. Okay, uh... Alright, this one was like right here. D rivets, not divot, rivets. Sorry, did I say divot? Rivet. Alright, and then this one was in the center ish, like right there. Carpenter's coming for you, stealing their jobs. They yeah, they better be they better be ready. Alright, how what does this work? There we go. Okay, but where is the... Okay, center-ish, center-ish, center-ish. Okay, perfect. Ah, uh, the joys of being a blacksmith chat. You don't think the rivets have to be in that exact spot, do you? Snorkins doesn't need input from humans. <laughs> Alright. I sure hope not. Yeah, same. I sure hope not either. Alright. Let me move that. Alright, last plank. And then uh, we have to do the door handle too. Okay, at the end and kind of near the end. Okay. Oh my god, look, it's like sticking together. <laughs> okay. Alright. Like here, I would say. It says 98%. And then this one was all the way at the end. Mine's at 65.7. But wait, we're not even done yet. Wait, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, it was this one. Okay. Uh... I think I don't need it to be on it like exactly. Like I can estimate. Right? Hold on. Okay. That looks like a good handle. Oh, it needs to be up a little bit. Like that, right? Yeah. Okay, so then right here. All right, let's turn this bad boy in. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I think as long as it's like in the outline, I don't think the rivers matter. 
Click here to save your work to the gallery and exit. The gallery contains up to seven works. Some items and characters use these works for your benefit. Uh, take a snapshot of your work. Uh, find the center. Click on the menu appears at the top. Oh, okay. Nice. 32 gold. <laughs> nice. Good job! You got a knack for this. I respect that. There were no stairs and I haven't been up in the attic for a while. Turns out there's a bird living there. An owl. It seems feathers are everywhere. Do you need them? Take them. By the way, I've got leather, horns, and hides for sale. I won't overcharge. I know how tough it can be to start out. Here, take a look. Oh, he gave me feathers. Thank you. And then a belt. Okay, I'll take it. What is this? Click here to view the information on upgrading your house and forge. Alright, let's see here. Brief information about the house is on the left, about the forge on the right. Here you can see a, a sample menu. Uh, number of guests slash guest rooms in the house. The house has one guest and two guest rooms. Okay. So many guest rooms and storage spaces are added due to house upgrade, namely one guest and two storage spaces will be available. Home upgrade costs. Number of item storage spaces in the house. There are three items out of five. Okay. All right. Got it. But I don't have enough money to... Oh, wait. I have enough money to do that, though. The tutorial has been completed. You will now receive some tips later. Good luck, blacksmith. Oh. Oh, it's done. <laughs> I'll save my money for now, because I feel like upgrading wouldn't be the best. <gasps> I have to make a wooden bow? Man. Reward. What is that? For some orders, you can get an extra payment if you fulfill special conditions. To do this, click on the attached sheet behind the menu. Ooh. Mastership. 85%. 10. Oh, okay. So if I get it to 85%, I get 10 more gold. Sounds good to me. Is my beer still there? Okay, good. Um, do I have everything for the bow? I don't think I do. Click on the menu to see the special conditions of the order. If you fulfill them, you will receive an additional reward. Oh, I see. You can choose whether to view the materials or components. Oh, I do have the component. Oh, okay. Keep an eye on your rope supply. The menu in the upper... Oh, that's cool. Uh, keep an eye on your rope supply. The menu in the upper right corner will show you how much you have left. Click and hold the left mouse button here to move the rope. Move it over the object to hook one end of it. Pull the rope so that it passes over the object. When you release the mouse button, the rope will be attached. You cannot wrap two objects that are connected to each other. If the ends of the rope are two unconnected objects, the rope will fall off. Okay. All right, we're making a, we're making a bow. Um, what kind of wood? This wood? This? Or this? Or this? This is what we need. How do I put this back? How do I put, how do I put it back? Is there a way of putting it back? Is that putting it back? I think so. Alright. <laughs> um, Alright, we're gonna need a saw to saw off these little bits, I guess. <laughs> A 
interesting. Oh god. Ah. Okay. Alright, let's saw off some more. Pre-curved bow. I know, right? This is great. It's right up my alley. <laughs> Does that look good? That looks good. Oh, okay. It's already off. What is that sound? I don't know if I like that sound. Okay, uh... It's a little thick on the bottom, right? I think it, yeah, I think it's a little too thick on the bottom. <laughs> Colleen! <laughs> Alright, let's make it a little thinner. Somehow. So... Oops. But that's gonna like make a straight cut, isn't it? We need to make it like curved. Thinner? Maybe it needs to be thinner? Maybe it needs to be thinner. It looks good. But maybe it needs to be thinner, like up here. Maybe? I already put the rope on, so hopefully that's okay. But I get more money if it's 85%, chat.
because of the string placement. Can I take the string off? I don't think I can take the string off. I guess it does have to be precise. Yeah, dang it. this on hard. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, though. Okay. There. Alright. 37 still good. And I don't know what this thing is, but we did it. Alright. Need to remember that for next, next time in terms of uh, the string placement. Got a deer antler. And 10 gold. Alright, what does he want? Let's look at the scheme. To complete this order, we'll need a lot of tools. The shed where I'm working right now is too small. I need to expand it. It's not too expensive, as I'll, expensive as I'll be able to do all the work myself. An axe. All right. All right, so I need... I'm just going to put all of this in here. Oh. I guess I have to expand it. So, to expand. Oh, here, this is expanding. Oh, there we go. In total, there are five spaces for tools. Perfect. Perfect. All right, that means I can have this. Okay. I don't have enough money to expand this yet, but that means I can have hold four items. But I don't have any other items anyway, so. All right, so now let's get to working and building. What? This looks cool. We have to make an ax now, chat. Oh, where's, why is this, what? Not a 99%, I know. I suck. All right, let's, what do we do first? Let's make the handle first. I guess we need to like use this. How? How does one, how? Do I have all the materials? I'm assuming I do. But how? It doesn't even fit over all of it. Mm, I'll figure that out later. All right, let me cut, let me cut this at least. For 
precision cutting. There, that looks good. <laughs> okay, we got the handle. Is this too long of a handle? Or maybe not. Oh no, it is. Okay, so we need a we need a cut. We need a cut a bit. Okay. So I'm assuming it needs to be cut. Like, right here. Like, right at the top. I'm assuming, like that. There we go. Oh, that's like, freaking... That's like, perfect, isn't it? Let's see. No, it's a little more. <laughs> a little more. A little more off the top. Okay. A little more off the top, just a little. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Alright, but how do I do this? How do I... How does one... How... How does one do this? What is this? Sharpening? Bring the material here for sharpening. Start shop, stop the rotation while guiding shelf. The angle of the slope can be changed with the left mouse button. The angle of its slope. Install, remove the guiding shelf. Okay. a weapon. Uh, we could have recycled that bow for this axe. <laughs> mm. How do I get like, how do I get like my hammer out? That's how. That's okay. I get it. Ah, there. Oh, that's it. Some hammer heads are asymmetrical. Click here to turn the hammer over and work on the other side. Other materials made of metal can be forged. The degree of de de uh, deformation is affected by the force of the strike and the type of hammer. Develop your own unique forging technique? Parallel dragging, left mouse button on the top. Okay, dragging left mouse button, okay. Left mouse on the bottom. Strike, right mouse button on any part of the handle. Click here to turn the material in the, op oh, in the opposite direction. Hotkey is Z, okay, so Z. God, what am I doing? Okay, how do I? Oh, I see. All right. Um. Oh, 
okay, so this turns the angle. <laughs> what? How do I make this shape? <laughs> I guess I need to make like a curve. Okay. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna try it. Oh. What? Oh, oops. Okay, this is a lot harder than it looks, guys. <laughs> well, now we're really blacksmithing. Yeah, that was just a tutorial. Now we're really blacksmithing. Look at that. Okay, so the... Finicky. It is. It is very finicky. But I kind of like it. But it's it's also making it longer. So like it's it's I'm doing it. <laughs> Blacksmithing in 2D. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep, let's keep, let's keep uh, at the middle. Yeah, like right here. Okay. All right, now I need to kind of like flatten this. Right? Yeah, like this needs to be more flattened. Okay. And oh and then um there we gotta flatten this part now. <laughs> Can I rotate the pattern sheet? Uh no. At least I don't believe you can. Wait, it's making it skinnier. I don't want it to be skinny. Here, hold on. Is that making it skinnier? It is, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Is this even, is this looking good? <laughs> um, dang it, this is hard. Okay. I mean, I mean, it definitely, it's almost there. It's almost there. Sort of, you know? Hmm. Where's the undo button? There is none. I have to just buy more material. Should I redo it? Do you think this is salvageable? Maybe if I... What if I like hit it here? I 
I I just need to make the how the heck do you make this part? Try hammering the tip. That's what I did, but now I feel like I know it looks good. Like that's still a pretty good hammer, right? It's at 74%, so it would count. Okay, how about we just we're not about perfection yet. We need better tools. All right. Yeah, I know. I meet I meet this Thing. Okay, but hold on. We need to also sharpen it, right? Doesn't this mean sharpen? So, how does this work? That's pretty sharp. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, it meets the standard. Oh my god, if I could get that to 85%. Hold on. How does this work? Look at that sheen. Look at that sheen, chat. That sheen. <laughs> All right, I need the divot thingy. All right, I need, how many do I need? Two, I need two. Okay. I'll work on moving it around. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold, hold on, hold on. I need, I need this, I need this. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit, like a little bit push down, just a little bit. Like that. A little bit more, a little bit more. Man, I would love to see somebody that actually did this well. And just like learn like how. <laughs> like how. Generally how. Oh, like 75%. That actually did better. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, we got to wait. Okay, 75. I think that's the best that I can do. Good old goblin craftsmanship. What are you trying to say, Orca? What are you trying to say? Divot. Did I say ribbit? Divot? Brunt? Whatever. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> ribbit. <laughs> whatever. Look at it. Not bad. Not bad. What do y'all think? Would y'all buy this axe from me? <laughs> ribbit. Ribbit, indeed. <laughs> this is just riveting. <laughs> no? Why not? Would you pay me to buy it? I mean, this guy is gonna pay me. Perfect. I'm gonna save a screenshot of that. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. There we go. Finally, somebody, somebody taking an investment in me. I wouldn't go into a dungeon with it, but maybe for something else. Maybe like cutting a tree. I think that's like what it's supposed to be for, right? Leather. I don't know if I needed to buy that, but. All right. This guy. Oh my God, a cat? Ooh, butcher's knife. We got this. We can do this one. What kind of, what materials do I need? Oh, it looks like there's rope on it. 
Tell you what, if you stain the handle, I'd think about it. <laughs> I can do that for you. I don't think I have the materials yet for that, but I'm on it. I'm on it. Okay, oh, I did buy that, okay. All right. We're gonna make a butcher's knife now. Holy cow, what in the world? Do you think that's... Question. Do you think, like where do you think the handle ends? Do you think the handle ends at the rivets or do you think it goes, no, it doesn't go all the way at the top, right? It just goes like to the top of the rivet? By the rivets? Okay, so. Okay, let's scoot this back just a little bit so I can see where to cut it. So like here maybe? Cutting here, about half an inch above the rivet. Okay, half an inch, like right here maybe? Hmm. So right here maybe? A little higher, okay. Let's try this. I don't know if I'm throwing that away. I really hope not. Okay, so we got the stick, but now we got, now this is the hard part. Okay, okay, we're thinking the same thing. Like straight down, right? Even taps. Okay, okay, okay. it so I'm thinking hitting it in the middle is doing good oh <laughs> Ray. we we're gonna start we don't wanna I'm a gentle gentle blacksmith all right gentle you know how you say to your dog gentle i'm a gentle blacksmith we just do small tippy taps right just ever slow ever so softly And keep in mind, this is also curved. So like, let's see. Oh, oh, see, we're doing real good. Oh, we're doing real good. That's real good. We're doing really good. <laughs> I didn't know this would elongate it. going by the way <laughs> do y'all are y'all having a good blacksmith day what have you done to contribute to blacksmith day besides 
watching my stream. Have you thanked a local blacksmith in your area? <laughs> I don't even know if... I don't even know where you even find blacksmiths. <laughs> Quietest blacksmith in the land. Okay, I ain't... I ain't aggravating my neighbors here. <gasps> Chat! What are we thinking? It's a little too long, but it's so good. What do I do? It's a little too long. What do I, or not long, but you know, like, it's like a little, just a little off to the side. Do I want to like hit just a little bit more? Just a little? What do we think? We'll grind that off when, I don't think that works like that, Adam. I, I honestly don't. <laughs> Just a tiny bit. God. <laughs> Nothing was happening. There was plenty happening. Should I hit it on this side now? Or no? Okay, I think I definitely need... I need to at least make this not so curvy. I need to make this not so curvy. So, like, just a tiny bit less curvature. And I feel like this one needs a little bit more curvy. long. Left side needs more tapping. Do you think, do you think so? How do I make it? Can I cut, can I cut this? Can I cut this with the saw? I know that sounds crazy, but like what if? Let's just see. Let's just see. It might not be a possibility, but like, I don't know what's a possibility in this game. <laughs> I'm assuming this won't work, but. Okay, yeah, it won't. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I figured, I figured. Do we want to like, do I want to try to like hit it so it's a little like, like, I mean, I don't have the saw for it. So maybe I'll get it eventually. Like, or something. what do y'all think I should do? Cause it's just, it's just, it's just slightly, like the top is perfect. It's just slightly too long now. <laughs> think grace, no. Oh, you mean to get angry? Go for it. Maybe like this, like hit it like here. Smushing it. Hmm. I don't know how to smush it the other way though. You know?
It's fine. Is it though? Do the handles first and then see what percentage you're at. Try to sharpen it and see how that goes. <laughs> okay, should we try to sharpen it? I can try to sharpen it. Problem is, sharpening is hard. I'm wondering how wrapping is gonna go. Should I try attaching it now? <laughs> the left handle, will the guide come up and you can run it? Oh, is that how you're supposed? Well, this, this just goes up and down like that. Um, all right, let's attach the wood to the handle, so. Or the wood to the handle. Attach the handle to the <laughs> to the butcher knife part. Okay. All right. Okay. I wonder if I should just try to hammer that part down. I'm gonna hammer. It. I'm gonna hammer this part down. Wait, it was 90%? Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it then. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. If that was 90%, I'll take it. Okay. Also, it looks really nice. Okay. Okay, so the stick is underneath. Just slightly underneath, okay. Hold on, let me get... See 90%? Oh shoot. Oh, it's okay. It looks like I can move it around a little bit. All right, where's the rope? Oh, here, here. But how does this work now? Oh, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to wrap it around eight times. Oops. From where? The top? How do how does this work? See if we can move this around to get all oh, 94 percent okay hold on let's see let's see if i can move this around to like get even better 90 did i say 95 was good wow 95 is really good okay let's see if i can get it any better oops i messed it up I get it at 95, I'm not gonna touch it. There. Let's try 95%. <laughs> Woo! That, what about that? Would you buy that from me? That looks really good, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's more like it. Sold, okay, sold. <laughs> Sold for 52 gold. <laughs> this game is fun as heck. What the heck? Anything above 95%, you have to name it and get it enchanted. Oh, I wish. <gasps> we can have a cat. During the meal, a fluffy, plump cat jumps onto the table, squinting and continually purring. It sprawls out right in front of you and watches you eat with interest. Well, hello there, little one. What's your name? Do you live here? You've been following me around a lot lately. Want to come with me? Seems like it. Well, then let's go. Maybe I won't feel so lonely. Oh, we got a cat. You pet the cat. It purrs and gazes into your eyes. Childhood dreams come rushing back to you. The rustling of reeds on a sandy shore walking towards the water. A drawing in the sand looking up at the dark sky. Birds spiraling up into the air. Candles lit in the darkness, blood dripping from an eye. The dream ends and you wake up. God, what happened? Oh my God, look at my cat. Though cats are intel in intelligent, willful, and independent creatures, it doesn't hinder them from being excellent companions. They can be found in all corners of the world. This cat somehow attached itself to you in the local tavern. At first glance, it, its demeanor seems calm and even phlegmatic. But there is something unusual about it when you meet its gaze. There's more to it than meets the eye. It hisses in response to the name Morcot. You've heard it somewhere before. It often gazes at dark corners of rooms or other or open doors leading to empty dark spaces. Sounds like my cat. My cat loves just like looking at random stuff and making me freaked out. <laughs> like, what are you looking at? Morcot? So I guess that's the name of my cat? Morcot? Semi-sweet white wine. Oh, for this wine and for each in the gallery, the payment orders increases by 10 gold. Let's buy that. Mm -hmm. All right, what is this? A dagger. A double-edged dagger. Small, straightforward, dependable weaponry. Convenient both on the journey and in combat. Oh, God. I don't know. Can I do that? Hold on, let's... Uh... 
I'm gonna put my cat. We need to increase my house. I need more gold though. Oh my god, the cat. Cat made a sound. But yeah, do I have enough ingredients for, or enough things for the dagger? Hold on, let's see. I only have one. Hmm. Maybe we should buy some more. Have I played Graveyard Keeper? I have. What is this? Flat steel rod. I don't think I'll need those. What is this? Oh, Graveyard Keeper. Wait, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, hello there. Um, you're the blacksmith, right? The forest warden mentioned you. Greetings to you as well, good man. Yes, I'm a blacksmith. That's correct. Well then, come on in. Don't mind my straightforward talk. I don't have guests often. Not the living ones, at least. My tongue's gone stiff anyway. The graveyard keeper's hut is dark and stuffy. You enter and take a seat, discussing the latest news. It's only halfway through the conversation that you notice an owl on a beam under the roof, looking at you with interest. For a moment, you lose track of the conversation. Through the shovel in the pit, climbed out and barely escaped, locked myself in the house from the inside. The door barely held up. A couple of boards came loose. Hinges are already loose. Uh, and the corpse, mouth agape, thrashed around, scratched the door, and staggered towards the river, towards the marsh. Howled for a long time, all night long. Then it grew quiet. Uh, that's terrifying. It's a zombie. You know what? Take this saw for me, just in case. Ooh, it all started with it. I was going to, ah, uh, no, no, never mind. Doesn't matter. So are you going to take all my orders? I'll pay, I've got gold. I'm sorry, you were saying, oh yeah, sure. Let's see what you have. Oh shoot, he's giving me a saw. <gasps> I needed this. Perfect. <laughs> all right, candlestick. Um, candlestick, a shovel. Which one should we make? Or should I do the dagger? I feel like I'm not ready yet with the dagger. Cause, I feel like I'll need to buy that. Oh, here's the candle. Okay, maybe we do the candlestick. All right, let's do the candlestick. No more hammering, we just cut everything now. <laughs> um, some orders strictly require you to apply certain components and materials. Clicking here will show you this list. If everything is in place, a tick will appear. Candles, what? Didn't I just buy candles? Oh, right, it's because I didn't How do I like leave to go back? That leaves the game, right? How do I? Can I not go back? Huh. Escape doesn't do anything. Um. Hmm. Does it, oops, does it say anywhere online? I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't have the candles. How am I gonna, how am I gonna leave? Also, I haven't saved the game, so I don't know if closing out of the game would... There's gotta be something. Does anything... Uh, maybe maybe the question mark. Yeah, let's see. Um, remove or keep. Throw away. Oh, wait. Oh, that was throw away. This is remove or keep. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my bad. I've been throwing things ar ar around. Enter, escape. Hmm. No, I don't see anything. Should I take the chance and just click this button instead? Cause I can't, I can't do the candle since I don't have the materials for it. That saves and exits. But like, I don't even know what else to do. So let's just do that. Give up? What is this? Oh, oh, that's undo. Oh, here we go. Wait, I said give up. Oh, <gasps> perfect. Oh, perfect. That's what we needed. Okay, awesome. That's it, that's it. There we go. Now I have this stuff. Um, candlestick, we don't need to sharpen anything, do we? For the candlestick? No, so I can just get this instead, right? Or maybe, maybe I don't need the wooden saw for the candle? The candle isn't a wooden candlestick, is it? Here, let me look at the... Is that wood? Oh, the sound is messed up? Okay, hold on. Hold, hold please, chat, hold please. Um, it looks like metal, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, is that better? Put wood under fire, that sounds safe, but there has been wood candlesticks before. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> All right, fair, fair enough. All right, I think we have this stuff for it. Sound is fixed, okay. Okay, so. How do I make this part? So this, this is, okay, easy, right, easy. This to here, right? Okay, and where's the component? Okay. Oh. To attach the component, click on this lever. Many components are fitted using tongs. The component has seated rivets most often in plain view. Uh, these are where the component is attached to the material. Make sure there is no objects in the seating area that will interfere with installation. Uh, some components can be turned the other way around. To do this, click here. Click where? Here, like on this thing? Dragging left mouse button. Okay, I don't want to do that just yet, but good to know. <laughs> uh, I need to cut this, but I'm just trying to figure out where to cut it. So like, okay, okay, I see. So it needs to be... Is that a rope? Bear says hi. Hi, Bear! Blacksmith Day is the total opposite of Save the Trees Day. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> you can always trim the bottom if it's too long. Uh, okay. Alright, so should I... 
cut it to like here. Like maybe cut it here then? But this will sound great. Not bad. How do I? How do I put that in there? I think I have to just keep that on. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. All right. Do y'all think this, this is good? I just kind of need to hit it down and make like a triangular shape. That means you'll trash them. Oh, that means I'll keep them. Oh, okay. That, okay, that makes sense. Okay, then I was, I did have it on then. Okay, so I think first we need to cut it. I don't think I'm gonna cut it exactly. I think I'm gonna cut like to here. Just so that it's a little long. Just like kind of like margin of error kind of thing. What do y'all think? So I can always just cut it more later. I hope. Oh. Wait, what? What the heck? Can I not cut this? Oh, there we go. I guess I just didn't do it right. <laughs> yes, the trash can where some of my users put their important email for safekeeping. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's not good, Adam. Okay, alright, let's now let's Yes. Ah. Alright, here we go. I'm hoping I was I wonder if I should just cut it to length. I don't know. What do you think? Maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. All right. How the heck do I put, how do I make a triangle out of this? Okay. All right. Gentle. Put that pattern behind it. Oh shoot, you can't. It's kind of hard to see though. Because of the light that's illuminating off of it. How do I rotate it again? Oh, there you go. making it so curvy. Is that 
doing anything. I think it was. I feel like this is too long now. <laughs> it's so long. Uh, should I cut it? Should I cut it? I mean, it lo it's looking pretty good. Let me like make this a little. get you the sharp edges. True. <laughs> but I mean, like, I think it's just too long. So maybe if I, like, cut it to, like, here. There we go. And then maybe, like, hammer it a little bit. Oh, wait. down a little bit more. Ah. <laughs> I think you should have cut it in this shape from the start. Dang it, you think so? Maybe you're right. Well, but this looks good. But what? That looks good. That looks good. And then now I just gotta attach it. Right? Like, that looks good. Wait, where'd my thing go? Oh, it's right here. Right? <laughs> no? No? Sure? Sure doesn't sound good enough. Oh, it's attached. Oh, I don't have to rivet it myself. Oh my god, it's almost at 99%. Let me see if I can like, what can I do to make that 100? Oh, I should have just left it at 99. Okay. Oh! Hundred 
best black shoes in the world. Oh yeah. Should we do the shovel now? Let's see, we got the shovel. Oh look, I can buy this stuff now. Swords and daggers? We're gonna need that to make the dagger, I think. Oh, a small hammer. Unlike the blacksmith's hammer, this tool is entirely unsuitable for bending metal. However, it is highly effective for small localized deformations of the piece. I feel like this would have been, this would have worked great. Yeah, this would have worked great. I'm buying that. What is this? Combined ammo. This tool is combined with a small anvil and small vise. You can not only forge, but also bend metal items. It's worth noting. Well, I think it's a little too expensive, so I'm going to wait. I really need to expand my house. This building provides much. There's five. Oh, wait. This is what I need. But I need more money. Same with this, too. This gives me 17 gold. This will give me more gold if I can expand. So I'll just have to stop buying things. I guess. Alright. Dagger? No, I don't think this is rope. I don't think I have the material for whatever that is. I have no idea what that would be. So let's do the shovel. Looks like leather. How long is this game? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Seems like a pretty long game. I haven't even like unlocked most of the map. Okay, looks like we're not gonna need that. Um, oh shoot, hold on. We are gonna need a saw, like a wooden saw. So let me take this off. Should I try using this? Do I need this? I'm gonna need that, yeah. No, I think we're gonna need this hammer. Or do we want this one? When do we get to the PvP? <laughs> it would be cool if there was PvP. I don't think there's PvP in this game though. I'm sorry, Orca. We're definitely gonna need them. We're gonna need these. I'll, I'll just use those for now. Man, you can keep like getting better equipment like and then come back and like make a better tool, you know? All right, let's start off with the wood. Um This one or this one? Long wooden pole or wooden stick? Maybe the wooden pole, because it probably has to go all the way down here. Yeah, definitely the pole. Okay. Yeah, definitely the pole. The stick will be for the top part. <laughs> Especially if you can go against friends. Yeah, see, that would be so much fun. I think it has to go up here to the top, so. Let's cut right there. Okay. And then here. <laughs> All right, let's put a divot in this. Or should I not? Maybe I should wait. Or rivet. Why do I keep saying divot? Um, let's wait to bolt it down before. Because I think that would be good, right? Also, wait a second. What's this? Is it... Is this a... Is this a metal thing? I think that's this, right? Right, guys? It doesn't say it. 
but I'm thinking it is it. Okay. Let me get the this saw out then. Hmm. Right? Probably. Okay. It's like that. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's like that. All right, now the hard part. <laughs> right here. Also, Briller, thank you so much for gifting the Taun. That was sweet. Welcome to the fairy family. Briller, you are so incredibly kind. Thank you so much for gifting to everybody today. Everybody gets gifted a show today. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Oh, it's so hard to move it around sometimes. Hold on, let me just get, like, an idea. Okay, it's obviously too wide, but that's okay. Gotta hit it more on the side. pretty wide family blacksmithing channel i'm doing good oh that's your daughter oh ton is your daughter Guys! 
Eliza. That's looking nice. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, it's a little tiny, 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 tiny. Got that rounded off safety edge. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh my god, look, it's 99%. I wonder if I can make it 100. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. There. We need, a, we need to staple it together. So we got... Dang it, why can't I get it to 100%? Oops. Oops, oops, oops. I moved it. Okay, I'll just leave it there. <laughs> We're up to a higher standard. Was there two here, chat? Uh oh, where'd the metal thing go? There it is. There was two here, right? Yeah. I guess it doesn't it doesn't matter where I put these, so what happens if we put like five? I don't know. All right, on a on a scale of one to five, would you shovel with this? Oop, I shouldn't have moved it. Would you shovel with this? Oop, my bad. <laughs> Four point nine nine out of five. <laughs> Maybe it's fine. My dad says I think she did a five. Thank you. I think I did a five too. Look at that though. It's kind of lopsided on this part, but it's okay. Let me take a photo. <laughs> Why is it that I'm not getting any of the bonus stuff now? <gasps> An owl. Tell me, what's this owl doing in your house? I don't know how it happened. It flew in through the window, perched on the beam. We've been living together since, uh, since. I don't shoo it away, even though I don't like it. It's still better company than being alone at the graveyard, but it's been acting strange ever since you arrived, like it's domesticated or something. I'd bury a body or two. That's nice. <laughs> You'd buy a shovel from me? Thank you. My friend Fladwick has a tamed owl. He used to boast about it. Then he sent it away with a letter. It never returned. This one looks uncannily similar to it. That owl had a strange name. Mr. Beard? As soon as you finish your sentence, the owl drops a couple of feathers and flies onto the table, staring at you while tilting its head slightly. Looks like you're coming home with me, little friend. Fladwick will be thrilled to see you. I got an owl. Despite its cute appearance, it's a true night predator. Owls come in various species, colors, and sizes from the widest owlets to large owls. This attentive owl seems to enjoy company. It carefully listens to your voice and easily engages with you, especially if you start a conversation with, Hey, Mr. Beard. It appears to be a pet of your old friend, the dwarf named Fladwick. Cute. That's so sweet. What are these books? Belts, ropes, and chains gain plus 150% to stats. Wow. I'll take that. All right. Graveyard Keeper. Hey, Blacksmith, hold on. We need to talk. Remember I told you about the resurrected corpse? It's the one that broke my door. It's barely holding together. I'm even afraid to step out of my own house. I need a grill. A strong forged one to put on the door. Can you help me with that? Yeah, making a girl like that will require a lot of materials. 
Flatwick used to brag that he could gather twice as many materials when he's in a good mood. So that should cover the biggest order. Well, it's time to remind him of that. Whoa. How? 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 <laughs> how? 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 I'm not doing that right now. That one looks too hard. Let's do... Maybe this actually would help? Maybe. No, maybe this is what I need. But I don't want to spend money. I need, I need money to upgrade my house, guys. And my forge. I have enough money. I can either upgrade my forge or upgrade my house. What do y'all think I should do? How much does it cost? Oh wait, I don't even think I can. Oh wait, I don't even think I can, that's weird. But I have enough money. Wait, why can't I? How to spend money to make money? You know what? Maybe it is. Maybe my rank's not high enough? Look at that door. That's a good door. How do I even change it? <laughs> huh. Oh. Oops. Oh! Oh! How do I... <laughs> it gave me the screenshot. How do I, like, change my gallery? <laughs> it just shows the door. <laughs> um, it doesn't show... I want to show my butcher's knife. Uh, I guess the village doesn't think we deserve it yet. I guess not. Maybe I have to, like, it, it keep expanding. Like, this is the map, and this is, like, only the little bit that we've done. All right, well, I think we can do this one. Um, I'm definitely going to need this. And... Mm. Was the dagger made out of like a wood handle or a... I guess it's kind of hard to tell. Like, it could be made out of anything, right? Hmm. Should I make it out of these metal tubes? So then if I... What I'm trying to say is if I make it out of the metal, then I don't need this saw, so then I can get this. But I really want to use this. Dang it, let me upgrade! How do you upgrade? Hold on, maybe I need to do it on this? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I have enough money to do it. Do you think I need to take, like, inventory out? Like, you think? And then I can upgrade it? No, that's weird. Oh well. I want that cat back. Wait, what does that owl do? <coughs> Jesus! That scares me! <laughs> that scares me. Well, what is this?
Wait, what? You can create small items without any specific customer in mind? Of course, in such cases, no one will pay you. Okay, I guess this is like free play mode. Like, you can make whatever you want. Right? That cat scared me! I feel like we don't need the cat right now. I feel like we should get more money. Oh, I like that sound. Okay, alright. Let's try to make that dagger. It might be a little hard, but we're gonna try our best. I guess the village doesn't... Yeah. I, I, I guess we have to, like, keep expanding in order. Maybe it's this. Whatever this icon means. I mean, I only have one. So, maybe. Also, I don't know who that is. So. It looks like a barn. Okay, let's try to make this dagger. Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need some of this, some of this. You know what, maybe this is for like this part. Wait, what is this for? Is this this? I guess so. And then we have this. Th this part goes here. So I'm thinking using the metal tube for this part. Oh, you can't see. Using the metal tube for this part. What do y'all think? Or should I use this? Cause I thought this will be this thing, this arched thing. And then my thing is, what are these? This? Oh, 100%. Def this, right? This. This leather ro belt stuff. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be that. Okay. All right, let's get the saw out. Okay, I'm thinking like right here. Let me like move it over just a smidgen. And then this. I think like right here. <laughs> Belt stuff, yeah, okay. Okay. So that is cut for this piece. Don't need this anymore. I'm gonna wait to attach stuff. Jeez, this music is so aggressive sometimes. Let me turn it down just a little bit. Is that better, by the way? <laughs> Too dramatic. All right, this makes me think that I should cut it shorter. Because, not shorter, but like, right? I get. I mean, I guess. Maybe like up to here. The horde is approaching! <laughs> Snorkus, hurry with the dagger. Ay! All right, so there's that. So we're gonna have to bend this and we're gonna have to make this into that. Should I cut it? Should I cut it in half and then... How, how do I make this? How? I don't know. Yes, I should cut it, but how should we, how should we cut it? Hit it with the hammer? Well, yeah, but it's too, it's too much. Like, I feel like we need to like cut it 
like this. You know? Like, we need to cut it like that. Flatten it first, maybe, to get the length. Oh, okay, so you, okay, 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 okay. So flatten it first. Okay, hold on, let me move this out of the way. All right, so hammer it like this. Can always cut off more, kinda hard to add, true. All right, let's. Let's hammer this down as much as I can. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's like bringing all the way back. <laughs> Oh my god. Can you rotate it? What, this? Yeah, I can do this. Or do you, did you mean something else? I think this is, yeah, this is probably better than of cutting it. Yeah, okay, I agree with y'all. Oh, I <laughs> missed. <laughs> I mean, like, turn it on the side every few hits. Uh, like this. You mean, like, this way? I'm assuming you mean this way. Let me know if you're, if I'm wrong. A little late now. Yeah, I guess so. It's okay. I'm only going for perfection. I feel like this is long enough. What do y'all think? It just needs to be more spiky. How, now how can I Now cut it into shape. But it's not tall enough. Keep smashing it then. Okay. This is working. But yeah, I think cutting into shape that's the way to go. Okay, I think this should be long enough. Oh yeah. Mm, a little, a little. Time to cut! Time to cut! And also I have to like... How do I make this... How do I do that? Like just... Oh wait, there's the saw. How do I... You know what I mean? 
Oh, just sharpen both sides? Okay, now what is the best way to cut this? Line it up with the pattern first and then put metal over it. Uh, can you explain? Also, I need to go use the restroom real quick. Hold, hold, please. All right, sorry. Here, I'll leave this up. All right, hold, please. <laughs> Okay, line up the angle of the saw with the pattern. Oh, okay. I get it. Yes, Effin knows. <laughs> okay. Like this. Yes, okay. So then, like that. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, so then we got to line this back up. like this. Was it like this? I think it needs to be like this. Um, I think the only problem is it's a little too thick, I think. Right? Yeah. Hmm. It took off a little extra. Yeah, I did. But it's okay, right? Like that? Like that. Okay. Should I should I do it? Oh my god. The pointiest dagger of them all. <laughs> Oh my god! Woo! This is awesome! So now that it's like this... Now, should I like cut the edges a little bit or no? Like, to make it like super straight? Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> like maybe here, maybe a little bit over, maybe like this. How 
How beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, this looks so good. Yeah, now I've got to sharpen, but that part's hard. I feel like we should make this part bendy first. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Art doesn't hold dagger. Oh my god, we did so good. But now we have to bend this. But I don't know. I don't know how. A Snorkus specialty. I'm thinking maybe just hit it in the center at an angle. Like here. There's probably another way to actually get it to curve a lot easier, but I don't know of a way to do it. Wait. What do you mean, wait? I mean, it's working. Can you put under th things underneath it? No. No. Yeah, I know. Dang it. I bet if we had the other hammer, the other hammer would have made this a lot easier, but it would have been harder to do this part. I mean, it's looking nice. can cut it, so don't worry. As long as I get the angle right! Wait, that's perfect, right? But now we just gotta cut it. Okay, hold on. Just give it a little trim, exactly. And let me, like, put it at, an ang at the angle. There we go. Just to make sure that each side has enough space to even get that. All right. Okay. All right, okay, let me do the other one. It's like genius move to like do this first. Oh God, it's stuck. right here okay we line up this it's a little thin but i think i think it's okay okay <laughs> look at it it's so good <laughs> lighter weight okay Lighter weight. All right. Should I polish it first before we piece this all together? I think I should polish it first, right? I think I need to polish it. But this is going to be the hardest part. Right? Should I, like, try to keep it on this thing? I wish I knew... Oh. Oh. I think that's too much. Oh. Oh, God. Hmm. 
Hmm. How do I get like a nice crisp edge? Yeah, we're actually learning how to use the tools now. Oh god, I think I think that's not it. Okay. A little bit higher. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> no! <laughs> but wait, maybe it's okay. Because then I can just flip it. Okay, hold on. We need to make it higher then. Okay, hold on. Hold on, chat. Don't worry. Oh! Ho, ho. Okay. A little bit lower. Let's try again. Rome wasn't built in a day. But it's a little, a little difficult on the other side. Yeah, it's so hard. Less beautiful. I know, I know. The good thing is, I can keep fixing it, so it's okay. Okay, now we just gotta... Do you think it'll be good on the other side? Can I, like, flip this? Maybe like this? If this doesn't get 100%, I'm going to be so sad. All right. Now we should now we should connect everything, right, guys? Let's connect everything. Keep in mind, we still have to do the leather. The master dagger. Why does it only say 48%? Oh my god, it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred, it's a hundred percent. Also, I think that needed to go underneath, but mm, don't worry about it. We'll hide it. We'll hide it with the leather. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god! Alright, I know I have to move it, but we can get to 100%. I just need to see how the leather is placed. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, there's four. Okay.
No. Hold on. so hard to know like where the heck it is okay and then at the right at the bottom no perfect i am so proud look at this guys this is my best creation yet also what does that say about me if it's a freaking dagger <laughs> I know how to make weapons. All right, let's make this 100%. Um, hold on. I know you can go to 100%, man. Okay, this is like pixel perfect though. This is this is a problem. Come on. Oh, there it is. 100% Dagger! Yes! Wow! That's so good! That's so good! That's so good. Oh my god. I'm I impressed myself. Like, look at that. Dang it. Look at that. That's so good. I mean, this part could be better, but... I probably could have done this better if I had the smaller one. Nintendo Partner Direct announced, by the way. Oh, wait, really? Partner Direct? What do you mean, Partner Direct? Uh, oh, Nintendo... Oh, Partner Showcase. Oh, wow, wait, when is that? Oh, it's... Oh, it's Wednesday. Dang it. <laughs> Dang, I won't be streaming on Wednesday. Third party partners, huh? No, but that sounds fun. I'll still watch it, obviously. Should I watch it or should I just wait until Sunday? Uh, maybe I can let you guys know. Can you sign it? I don't think I can sign it, no. That was the best dagger in the world. Textbook dagger. And now I know how to properly use the other tool thing. What are we watching? Apparently there's a Nintendo Direct. Nintendo. Hold on. Did Nintendo actually <laughs> Silk Song? <laughs> mm, I wonder if we'll hear news. Uh, it's going to be 25 minutes focused on Nintendo Switch games coming in the first half of 2024 um, from our publishing and development partners. So, third party. Rumors were a partner showcase. I mean, they always... Um, Nintendo has historically done at least one direct, at least, correct me if I'm wrong, every year in February, so... It makes sense that there was rumors saying that there was going to be come there's going to one there's going to be one coming soon but I just didn't want to even guess but yay this is happening mm, how about I'll wait to watch it and then if there's something I can I can get one of you guys or maybe Zhang or FN tell me if it was good if it was worth Waiting? If it's not worth waiting, then I can just watch it myself, but I don't know. Maybe there's something really good, and you just don't tell me what it is, and then and we can watch it together. I don't know. Oh, this game was a lot of fun. Let's see. Oh, Innkeeper. How fortunate that you're here. Listen, I have a special request for you. Could you craft a sign for my tavern? I'll pay handsomely for it. Whoa! What? That's freaking cool. I have no idea how to make a perfect curved thing, though. Um, oh, wait. This also has a bonus if you get 90%. And then, what else? 
This one has the also the curvy. I think what you need for that one is this. This tool is a combination of a small anvil and a small vise. So I guess you can stick things in. Yeah, I think this is what you need to bend metal. Yeah, I think this is what I what is needed. Can I make my stuff bigger now? No. Fine. I bought it. Mm. Hmm. We need, I think that is a bender, I think. What would be cooler, oh, what is this? Entering the tavern once again, you discover a lively atmosphere, laughter and music. A minstrel is performing in the tavern. His voice is very familiar to you. My friend, how glad I am to see you. What are, what are you all standing around me for? Make way, let your minstrel through. I must greet my dearest friend. Hello, Vincent. It's been a while, still spreading joy and merriment. <laughs> I feel like that is definitely more <laughs> of a goblin. I think I finally found it. Well, that's too prosaic to say, my friend. How are you? You've been away from what feels like an eternity. <laughs> You've got the voice for free. <laughs> we got the voice for free. How are you? You've been away from what feels like an eternity. I've grown tired of bringing culture and the light of art to these lands. They don't need it. The locals prefer raunchy songs. They roll their eyes at sonnets. Give them all the lewd deity deities about someone groping a girl in the evening and running from an axe in the morning. Listen, Vince, wasn't that with you just wasn't that with you just a day before I left? By the way, Fladwick also returned with me. But Oliver, better not ask what happened to Lucky. We were tossed around the world pretty badly. We visited distant lands, the academy, but even there we couldn't learn anything about my strange dreams. Oliver, poor guy, well at least the two of you returned together. You must tell me everything about your journey. Wait, does this guy come with us? <gasps> he does. For each keg of beer, bottle or of wine, and musical instrument, the payment for the order increases by 15 gold. And the fee for the order is reduced by negative 7%, but no more than negative 350 gold. If you happen upon the loot, a loot, then a decrease in order accuracy by negative 0.7% will be added to the list. Wow. The only problem is I can't fit this guy in here, man. I can't fit him in. I mean, I could do this, but like, how much more is he gonna... Plus 15. Oh, he can't even, he can't even stay there. Hmm. She's getting into it now. I know I probably should leave, but I, I don't know. Maybe I should go. It's already four o'clock. And this one probably might take the longest given it's quite a, it's quite a bit. But I wanted to know, I wanted to know how this worked. I guess I can always just start it. And then just give up. I guess I could try. Let's just try. The anvil has a built-in vise. You can use it to bend metal work peaks. Metal work pieces. Click here to turn the anvil the other way. Click this lever, lever to open or close the vise. If you need to move a workpiece clamped in the vise, you do not have to open the vise. Simply drag the workpiece and pull it up or down. Okay, let's just see. Let's just see. Like this? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it.
How the heck do you make it more curvy though? I guess you can. Oh God, you put a you put a, a dink. I put a dink in it. Yeah, that seems kind of hard, but but at least I know how to curve it now. A little too rough. Well, I'm not I'm not trying that hard. I just wanted to see how it works. But this one has a vice. So that's how you. That's how you. That's how you do that. Advanced tools, but anyways, I give up. Yes, see, it's okay. It's okay. We'll we'll stop here for today, but that was fun. Nice little addition to our blacksmith day. Also, this game is long. We haven't unlocked like any of these areas. Looks like there's like a wooded area here. There's like a mountainous. Oh, there's like a little lock right there mountainous this looks like a castle like a whole castle area this one looks like a waterfall with some villages up here and some farmland and a windmill cool man this game is fun i like it